Cellos, cellos, welcome back, welcome back, people. It's the Critic Corp. I am Tope, and I'm here to give you guys uh, that review today on the movie Killers of the Flower Moon. And let me just say, fuck, that was a long ass movie, bro. I think that was like, what? Yeah, probably the longest movie I ever sat through, besides, um, you know, Endgame or the Zack Snyder's, uh, you know, director's cut and Oppenheimer. This shit was damn near four hours, bro. It was three and a half hours. Three hours and 32 minutes, to be exact. Um... But it wasn't, it wasn't like I was dreading it and looking at my phone. It was actually good and the pacing was very well kept. So, you know, I'm not really complaining, but damn, they, they delivered, they delivered. They dove deep and specified every single, you know, plot of you know the story and because this is this this was based on uh true events you know um it's so it's staged in a uh osage um county or whatever osage the osage nation um you know a tribe full of indians and they little uh you know, they little place, they little country, and they get pretty much, you know, uh, taken over by, uh, they called, they call the whites, but the U.S., America, us, our fuck asses, you know, and they really dove deep into, like, you know, all the, all the fuckery they did. Just to take over their land, come and conquer their land, and, um, you know, just run them out of there, whatever they did, whatever they needed to do, whatever it took to run the Indians out and force them, you know, to wherever they forced them to, but it was like, it was just crazy, bro. The shit that you seen, that I, well, the shit that I seen, the shit that you guys are gonna see, it was like, wow, this shit really happened. I can, I can honestly see this shit happening, and it fucking did. It really did. It did happen. Like I said, this shit was based on true events. Um. So you, you know, you they, um, <clears throat> they uh. They showed King William Hell, you know, they called him King, uh, King Hell or whatever, but, uh, William Hell, um, he was like, you know, pretty much, he, he ran the, the Osage Hills and whatnot, he, he was the true mastermind of this whole, you know, place, like, he was the reason that they, you know, that life was took, because it was over 60 men and women and children uh that died you know just from his little evil plan to inherit it all their you know all their money and their and uh oil you know they he found out it was oil too there within the tribe so you know and that was big back in the 1920s so yeah his ass had his um his nephew Ernest Fucking, which is played by, uh, Leo. Um, he, he, he made him, uh, pretty much marry and fall in love with, uh, this, this Indian woman named Molly. And then, you know, the, the plot just schemes up and schemes up from there. And he's, you know, trying to fucking just... Made sure that Ernest is the one that inherits everything so it can pretty much rotate back around to him in the long run. 
and you know Molly, she had tons of uh family members, you know, sisters and cousins and whatnot, and they were like you know next in in line for the inheritance, and he will you know king of hell. He's just knocking, he's just getting them knocked off one by one. And it was crazy, bro. Like, just how dirty they was back then. Like, they just was straight up about it, too, you know. Like, they, he, she had one, you know, sister, Anna. She fucking got shot and they got her drunk. Ernest's brother got her drunk, dragged her out, you know, dragged her out to the woods, shot her, got her shot in the head. Uh, many fucking died from a sickness that they fucking planted in her. Uh, Rita and her husband fucking, they, they plotted a bomb underneath her house, blew her shit to smithereens. Charles White, he got fucking shot. Uh, you know, he got caught lacking shot in the back of his head. Even the mother, Lizzie, she got fucking, uh... No, I think she actually just died from uh, a natural illness. Yeah, she just died from a natural illness. So did Molly. So did Molly. Luckily, luckily they they got got to Molly before you know Will could. Um, private detectors, investigators were fucking hired and got murdered. They Molly had to go out to Washington, Washington D.C. and get like, uh, uh, get the government involved, the government investigators involved, and all types of shit, bro. It was wild. It was wild. King Hell was, uh, cause you know Molly had uh diabetes, so he was like plotting on on her through medicine, getting this so called insulin for her. Talking about it's only certain, only select few people in the world got this shit, and she's one of them. She should be happy. That's that's you know that was him manipulating uh her through Ernest. Ernest was feeding that to her, and um he she started uh giving him some other shit. I don't even I didn't even get to see what that shit was, but it pretty much like paralyzed her, you know, put her, put her down, what they, what, what they said was, you know, slow her down, because she was, she was still up moving, she was, she, she was a tough cookie, she was fighting, she was fighting for, you know, her life with things, and, um, you know, still going about her business, trying to keep the family, you know, the family bloodline still intact, um, they end up having, Ernest and her end up having kids, um, fucking one of the kids end up dying. That's what drew Leo to, because at first he he was like he was regretting it. He was indecisive. He was regretting it at first, and then he was like questioning his uncle's you know doings because he started to realize his uncle was uh. We're going nine times out of ten, double cross him, and just to get that money, get the inheritance, and then like he uh he went to he went to go testify, and then he reneged on his testify, and then like I said, once the once the kids once his his kids got involved, that's when he broke and got to uh got to make that testimony on that stand. Spill the beans, spill all the beans. Um, it was it was wild. Like I said, he fucking ends up. Uh, he still ends up going to jail for life. Ernest did, um, and getting out, getting pardoned, and you know, like years later, and going to live on some trailer with his brother, fucking Byron. Uh. Will, Will, William Hell, he ends up dying, you know, just of old age and shit, and sentenced, um, sentenced to life and all that bullshit, uh, Molly, she ends up fucking getting, you know, the medical help she really needed, so 
So she was he ends up being Gucci for the time being. And then, you know, she ends up you you know, eventually dying from diabetes and um you know just you know, health health issues fucking what in nineteen thirty seven, so of June, June sixteenth in nineteen thirty seven, you know. Um the fucking the real killer thing about this was after Ernest made the testimony, she asked, she sat up straight up, sat there and asked him, like, you know, pretty much be honest with me. What was in the insulin and, you know, like, pretty much why, you know, why did you do this? Why did you portray to love me so hard? Like, you, you know, pretty much fucked with my emotions and my whole life type of deal. And he was just, he was just still in denial mode, you know, acting like he really loved her. Which I think he kind of did, like 50-50, you know, but he started, he didn't start to obtain those feelings truly until towards the end of the, you know, of his uncle's evil doings. And he started realizing, like, this shit ain't right and how much, you know... How much is at stake with his life and then his family? And then on top of that, you know, he's just wiping out all these Indians for no reason. Just for their money. Just for their fucking money, bro. That shit's sad. That shit was sad as hell. I, like I said, it's so, it's so unbelievably true. Because this shit really happened. And for the simple fact, you know, us as Americans, you know, we, we're we greedy motherfuckers. So this shit truly defined, you know, us, it, uh, the U.S. as a whole back then. And it's still happening, sadly, now, with, with the greed part, at least. I mean, some some lives are getting took, but, you know, it's just it's, it's sad. It's real sad, man. This movie, for sure, is, is going to get some awards, some nominees. And um, it's a fucking A in my book. Uh, the cast was great. Um... Everybody did their part, man, from director to uh, the, the graphics, the, the, the writers, everything was, you know, it was, it was real good. It was just, you know, like I said, it was just sad and shocking because it was, you know, in the back of your mind when you're watching this, you know, it was just like me. I, it was, you know, it's crazy because it really happened and you know this shit really happened, so... Um, yeah, guys, just go, go give this movie, um, some support, check it out, yeah, I know, I know it's three and a half hours of your life, but it's a good three and a half hours, you won't regret it, so, just take, take some time out of your day, suck it up, and go see this great movie, you know, um, Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think, think about it or thought about it when you go see it. Um, and I am about to fucking leave it at that, man. Support the corp. And I will be back for Loki. Toodles.